Well, good evening, family of God, JCC, and everybody watching us this evening for Throne Room Thursday. And it's been such an amazing time of getting together with a team of worshipers, worshiping together. And uh, what an honor it was after nine weeks of not being able to gather together. Um, we were able to get, get, get together this Sunday, this past Sunday, and worship together. And I tell you what, even with the restrictions of only 50 people, we had an awesome time of worship. And, um, you know, there's nothing like when we gather together to worship. Um, in Acts 2, we see how all the disciples, the Bible said that they were gathered together. So where there's unity, God commands a blessing. And I'm aware that music allows for us to all be in the same space together doing the same thing. Um, it would be very difficult if we were singing something um, and one person was singing uh, one song in one key um, and another person was singing another song in this key. You would sense and know the disconnect and the disunity. But when we worship together, we sing the same thing. We voice the same thing. Um, our hearts are focused on the same thing. And that's unity. And God commands a blessing with this unity. And worship in itself is such an amazing key that God has given us to wage war against the enemy. And I was talking about how as a church we were able to get together on Sunday and man, how the presence of God was just so awesome as 50 people lifted up their voices together to worship. And those of you who are watching from home, I'm sure that you were joining in and sensing that same atmosphere. But when we worship together, the presence of God gets so strong that our faith is stirred. And when our faith is stirred, God can do miracles. And miracles are not just physical uh, tangible things that happen to us in our physical body that changes but we are struggling emotionally right now people are struggling emotionally and I would encourage those of you who are in a time where you find yourself struggling I want to let you know that God's presence can heal God's presence can bring you out of the space where you are and bring you into a place that where you know that you're his child, that you belong to God, that the spirit of fear is broken. And I want to encourage you right now that as we step into a time of worship, worship with us. Lift up your hands, abandon yourself in his presence and allow his presence to just wash over you and heal every aspect of your life. Let's spend some time in worship together. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. And every man will bow down and say you are King. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? King of Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you, King of Glory. You feel this place. Just wanna be with you. Oh, just wanna be with you. It's the world. It's the world. Every man, yeah. every man will bow down, bow down and say you are me. So let's start right now. So let's start right Why now. Why would we wait? Why would we wait? We can praise you now. We can praise you Hit the victory now.
will sing hallelujah until you come again. And we'll dance in your presence till you come again. We will sing hallelujah till you come again. Yes, Lord. And we'll dance in your presence till you come again. How we love to worship you, oh God. We will sing hallelujah till you come again. In your presence is fullness of joy, yeah. And we'll dance in your presence till you come again. Come on, lift your voice. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah.
break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain.
I know that you're enjoying the presence of God and right there we are worshiping. The Bible says that God lives in our worship and as you worship Him, the presence of God comes. And so the Bible says that we are a chosen generation, a people of God called out of darkness into His marvelous light and the purpose for all of that is so that we would praise and worship. And worship is me placing value on God and everything that He has done for me. And I've been reading this book by Dr. Fred Roberts, our grandfather in the Lord. And what an honor and privilege it has been to, to just sit under his teaching. And I've been reading this book on true worship and how, impact, how it's impacted my life over the season. It's been just so amazing. I've been just so enriched and encouraged by the Word of God and how God sees my worship. God created me to worship. God created you to worship. And I wanted to read you something out of this book. In Psalm 95, verse 2, it says, Let us come before His presence. You and I have a choice. God will never force you to do anything. But you and I have a choice. Let us come before His presence. We can so easily be distracted by the things around us, by media, by work, by family. But God says today to you and me, come into my presence. There's an invitation here. I hear God saying, come. And as you come towards God, God moves towards you. And so the psalmist says here, let us come before his presence. And this is how we come with thanksgiving. Psalm 92 and 95 Verse 2 says, come before His presence with thanksgiving. You know, it's just, the, the, it's just a, a wonderful thing that happens when you are thankful. I have children and I very often buy them, you know, when I go to the shop, I see something that they like. And as a father, I, I go and I buy it for them and I take it home. And there's nothing like seeing them be thankful. And it's amazing that when we come into God's presence, He desires for you and I to be thankful. <laughs> come into His presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to Him with song. And so God desires for us to worship Him. Not just worship Him, but He also desires for us to sing with a thankful heart, with a grateful heart, giving thanks to everything that He has done. So here are three things that I want to leave with you as we continue to worship the Lord today. We worship God because of His goodness. We're thankful because of His goodness. Goodness and mercy, Psalm 23 says, will follow us all the days of our lives. I was young and I was old, but goodness keeps following me. I was in the valley, I was on the mountain, but goodness kept following me so we're thankful to God for his goodness towards us and then we praise God because of his greatness God is great and he's greatly to be praised nothing in that you and I can do no mountain no problem no sickness is greater than God and so we grateful and thankful to God because of his greatness and then the last thing I want to leave with you we worship God because he is holy there's no one as holy as the Lord. When you and I worship Him, everything separates. Everything, every distraction falls off our lives and the holiness of God becomes the center focus. And as we continue to worship, God is holy. And to be holy, God's called us to be holy. And holiness really just means to be set apart you and i have been set apart handpicked chosen by an almighty god to worship him let's worship him
us and free us from every
the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name for you are the rain you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are the rain you do miracles so great there is no the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory, Lord, the honor. Lord, we lift our hands, we lift our hands in worship as we lift No one else like you. No one else, oh God. There is no one else like you. For you are the rain. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you.
beginning and the end. He never changes. He's always the same yesterday, today, and forever. We hold fast to the fact that He doesn't change. His goodness towards us, His greatness, 
and he's a holy God. And as you've worshipped with us um, in this great atmosphere, I want to encourage you to share this with someone that you know needs help today. The presence of God in his presence that is joy unspeakable and full of glory. And his presence can change everything in our lives. All we need is a touch of his presence. I want to encourage you right now to go to jhcc.tv and sow a seed. All the instructions that you need to give is right there on our website. And giving is part of our worship. So I would encourage you to go there right now, sow your tithe, and give an offering right now as we've worshipped the Lord together. Also, share this with someone that you know will be encouraged by this time of worship. Go to our, our Facebook page, JHCC Fans, and see our, our service times on Sunday, which is 8 o'clock, 9.30, 11, 4 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. Join us in one of these services as we gather together and worship the Lord together. There's nothing like just getting together and worshiping the Lord as one heart with one voice. And so thank you for being with us. God bless you and we'll see you soon.